Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie here. Um, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do another live here um, for you guys. Yesterday I painted this one with you and I was asked to come back and wax it. So here I am trying to follow through with what I said, right? So um, uh, as you come in, hi Annette. I'm gonna use, thanks for coming. I'm gonna use um, DIY. Okay, we did DIY paint. We're gonna do DIY, well, I always use DIY wax no matter what paint I use, but anyways, we're gonna use the clear. We're gonna use the dark, which is brown, okay? And I don't know why it's not called brown, but it's not. And the white, okay? So when you're waxing furniture, hi. Um, I prefer to always put clear on first, okay? Clear is gonna give you movement. It's gonna allow you to apply your colored waxes, but not have it completely dominate and change. Chalk paint, clay-based paints, all these paints are very porous. So when you when you go to apply your wax, it just like sucks it up. And if you go like straight with a dark or straight with a white, hi, Laurie, um, you're gonna really, really change the look of your piece like maybe too dramatically and you can't change it after that because it's just like, okay? So always put your clear. Your clear is going to allow you to have movement of your colored waxes, and it's also going to allow you to kind of use it as an eraser. So if you get too much of a dark or a white, you can apply more clear and rub it back, and it, it almost like erases what you did. So it's kind of a cool thing. So always clear, then those, okay? The other thing that I get asked about a lot is can you – use a hard sealer over wax. You're not supposed to do that, okay? So no, so your wax would be your last step. Now you can use a hard sealer and then wax on top of that, okay? You can do that. So you can still get a hard sealer finish, but you can still have fun with the waxes that way. So you'd seal and then you can go ahead and you can use, your, use a little bit of clear and use, you don't have to use as much, and then use your darks to still get that that look that you're going for in case you wanted to seal it. So just, um, I found that was confusing at first. When I first started, I was like, what? That makes no sense, but totally get it now. So I just want to share that with you guys. Okay. So let's get started. Um, I do have different brushes for my colored waxes and, and my clear. So my clear always is with this one. This is designated 100% clear wax all the time. Every now and then I use it for salve. No, you can put, you can definitely put um, wax over your transfer. That's totally fine to seal it with that too. You can put a sealer, but you don't have to. Wax is sufficient, totally sufficient. Um, and it's very gentle. So with the transfers, you just always want to use something gentle. Kind of tell people like, you know, a lot of people go with um, polyacrylic from Home Depot and stuff like that to use as their sealer. That's fine, but for your transfers, I, I believe it's better to use a more gentle one. So like Big Top that, that is with the DIY line or the Wiesel Varnish, you know, something that goes along with the chalk paint line. Those are just gonna be more gentle. Um, so I don't know that it would mess up your transfer, but I wouldn't um, tell my customers like that's something that I think you should do, okay? Hi, hi Charity today. Okay, so here we go. So again, always have your different brushes. Um, I just keep these ones. I'm gonna wash them every uh, no, five months, something like that. But when you have a brush designated, hi Robin, then you don't have to really worry about washing them too much. So enough with the chit chat, let's go. So this is a brand new can of clear. Um, Cause golly, I wax a lot of stuff. I prefer to wax over sealing. Um, there are certain pieces that of course you're gonna seal just depending on the piece itself, what it's gonna be used for. But if I can wax, I'm gonna wax because I absolutely love the way wax changes with DIY paint. Because of this clay base paint, you're just gonna see the most dramatic change as soon as I put this wax on there. And it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look all blotchy. It's gonna look all weird. And you're gonna be like, oh my God, I just messed up my piece. You didn't, okay? Don't over wax. Don't keep putting more. Just put it on as long as you know you got it, you got it, even though it's gonna look different because it's hitting the highs and lows in the clay. And that's totally what it's supposed to do. So, again, enough talking. All right, stop it. Okay, here we go. So, let's go ahead and we'll just start here, okay? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my clear. And I mean, I literally dipped in that much. You can't really even see that I have any on there, right? Um, and let's just go ahead and start. But as you start applying it, I mean, you can really see that I'm completely changing the tone of this piece. I mean, it instantly looks wet again. It looks like it did, like the paint did when it was drying. Um, now, of course, this is gonna dry back to a color right in between. It's gonna be a little darker than this, but it's not gonna be this dark, because it's gonna dry. So you don't need a lot. That's the biggest thing. Do not over wax, okay? Um, can see I barely touched. I'm gonna barely touch again. I mean, you can't even see how much is on there. It's how much I'm barely touching. And it's gonna get me a little ways, you know? So we uh, just, you know, when it comes to waxing, less is more. So you're gonna go ahead and just apply a thin layer now I kind of do my waxing the same way that I do my blending. So I'm gonna get my clear all over this section right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my accenting with my dark and my light. And then I'm gonna move on. Again, for time purposes, I'm not sure you guys wanna hang for this whole thing. So I think that will be a better way to go anyways. And, and then we'll just keep Keep moving on. So I am trying to get it into the little grooves. I don't want to over wax this piece. I don't want it to end up being too dark either. So I uh, want to make sure I do have full coverage on there. I still didn't, um, I didn't stick my little, <laughs> man, I'm prepared, huh? We're just gonna jimmy this guy open like that. So I can go ahead and get the top, being that I did paint the top on these. Um, Oh, so for right here, I'm gonna do something fun with the IOD um, stamps right there as a nice little surprise for my, my wonderful customers. So you guys follow my channel. I will um, I'll put up a quick video for that. And um, that way you guys can check that out if you want to. Um, I'm gonna use one of the newer stamps and I think it's gonna be really pretty right there. So I'm kind of stoked, kind of excited. All right, let's just go right there and then let's stop. So you can always feel a wax surface is always gonna have a really soft, luscious feel to it, which I just, I love waxed. Um, something I tell my customers too, you can always feel the difference between something that's been waxed and something that's been sealed because it's gonna have just a soft feel to it. Okay, so I'm gonna get this guy, um, which is just a small, small one. And I'm going to go into my dark again. I just, just a dab. I don't need too much. And I'm going to go ahead and just get it in. So I'm kind of going to do it the same way that I did my, um, my blending. So I'm going to put it into these darker spaces. It's just going to give this piece a little bit more um, um to go along with its natural um, beauty, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. And then I always have, so this is a lint-free towel. These are like the, um, the ones you clean, clean your TV with or, or you know what I mean. They're lint-free and I, I prefer them for that. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that back. And now I'm going to get into these guys kind of really push it in there. Now I did put the clear so I can get it back out, which is good, but I don't want it all back out. I just want the high spots back out. So I'm really just trying to accent it. And um, you know, you can get super fancy with your waxes and that's great, but that's not what we're doing. We're just making it pretty and adding a little bit more depth and detail to our areas. I'm gonna go down the side on the outside of this one and that'll stick nicely into that crevice there. And then here, and then I'm gonna do it down here. And I always just kind of wipe back. I'm kind of a cautious waxer. I <laughs> have, I always, you know, if I can add more, I'll add more. I don't need to go cuckoo though um, in the beginning, just 
because I like, I guess I like more subtle look. So that's kind of that for that. I could go up here and give it a little bit of age on the top crevices also and here. I'm kind of feeling like I want the black too. I don't know. I may end up adding black before this whole thing's over, but not yet. So now I'm just gonna grab this one. Um, the only wax brush that I really have, like my favorites is gonna be my, um, my clear wax one. Other than that, like whatever brush I can find that has a blunt edge, I use for my colored ones because I don't, I just don't care so much about those. Those are not my main thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this section here a bit and I'm really just gonna scrub it in. I don't want it to look like a block, but I am going to be able to highlight the section with just adding a bit in there. And then again, I'm gonna wipe it back, kind of smear it out. Now, depending on the look you're going for, you don't even have to wipe back. And I know um, some people don't wipe back right away. They just, they actually wait for like the next day to wipe back and you know, that's cool. That's Everybody has their own way, I guess, but I wipe back. Why do I wipe back? Probably because nobody ever taught me. I just picked it up and started doing it. So I didn't know that, like, maybe you don't, you know? So we're just going to leave that one like that. You can see it's still just a subtle look, but it is darker around here. And as it dries, this is going to dry lighter, this clear, and this is going to be more, more um, defined. Okay, so let's go ahead and dip back into our clear. I'm gonna go ahead and hit down here and move along. I think I'm actually gonna go grab my black right now. I think I just really want it. Lucky for us, my garage is very small, so it'll take me like a second to do that. But yeah, I'm thinking I want my black. Hold on, let me grab it. I really thought I was gonna use the browns, but I don't know, I'm feeling more black here. I need to order more, or not order more, bring more from the store. So this is the brush that I have designated for black. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside and my black, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, you did, cool. <laughs> I didn't read all of that, but you got some candy from Hamish. I got that part, but I didn't get the end of it. Well, thanks for coming in, I appreciate that. And uh, if you need any help or whatever, you let me know, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go, you guys see down here? You can't even see. Let me tip you a little bit more. Now tell me guys, if you can't see, I feel bad. Okay, so I have a little bit of black on here and now I'm gonna work kind of hard to get it into those deeper areas. I'm really just gonna give it a good scrub, get it in there and let's get a little bit more. Go ahead and scrub it in over here. That way. Now I'm gonna take my rag again right away. I'm gonna drag that back off on the high spots because, well, just because I am. So I can get those off there. And so that really accented that a lot down there. Now if we go back in with our white, and I'm just gonna kind of overlay it, so I'm gonna hit some of it, not all of it, and kind of highlight. Now you can really see those pretty leaves on there. And I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that for a bit and then I'll come back and wipe that off. But let's let that soak in a little bit more. I kind of really like that white on there. So being that I just changed my color, so I'm not gonna use my dark anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and put my dark aside because I'm thinking the black is gonna look better to my eye. So I'm gonna go back over and do what I did again. 
covering up my black, my dark, and getting more of a black feel than a dark feel. I really thought the dark was going to be right for this piece, but now I'm, now I'm thinking no. I always end up going back to black, it seems like. All right, let's move this way. You guys still with me? Everybody cool? I want to keep you. You know, yesterday was a whole hour we were on here. And then I felt really bad, like, wow, that was too long. You know, YouTube's all about watch time. So when people sign on to watch a video and they lose interest and they leave, YouTube, like, they're watching that. So they go, hey, you know, that chick is not important enough. She's not interesting enough for people to stay. So they don't, um, they don't show your videos. They don't push them out. The longer, so it's not about views. Facebook's about, well, it is about views too, but Facebook is more about views. They're more, even if people don't watch the whole thing, people, they're counting the views. Um, YouTube really looks at how long you stay for that video. So if you ever want to destroy someone's YouTube channel, just log out. Just kidding. <laughs> just don't, don't stay. Um, so every time you do that, YouTube goes, hey, that, you know, they couldn't keep their attention. They're obviously not interesting. And, um, they want interesting content that people will stay for. So that's why we always try to hurry and make our videos so fast because like we try to fast forward and like get straight to the point and kind of have to skip some stuff and do that because if you make it too long, nobody's gonna watch. At least they're not gonna watch the whole thing. All right. I'm getting good at rambling for no reason, huh? <laughs> it used to be really hard for me. And now I just talk so that it's not quiet. I'm gonna pull these guys out and hit these edges that I did paint yesterday. Push it back in. Same thing. So that it's all nice and sealed and Cheryl will be happy with her piece and you know, everything's good, right? All right. So now we have those done. So let's go back into our black and let's kind of get into these dudes down here. And again, because I don't want my black to be too prominent, I'm gonna wipe that back off. Let's go ahead and hit it with some white. And we'll just highlight a little bit. And we're gonna leave that more right there. All right, back to the dark. And I'm just gonna add a bit here and here. We're not gonna be too consistent on these drawers. I want them to have different, different depths, just kind of like how we did with the painting. We didn't make them all matchy-matchy, and we're not gonna do that again here. I'm just gonna add some dark and some light, some dark and some light, and just make them well pretty, right? All right, let's get a little bit of dark into this. I'm gonna really make that hardware stand out. I did go ahead and paint the knobs. I just painted them faded burlap. So I'm basically gonna do the same thing to the knobs that I'm doing to this. I'm gonna wax them and then I'm gonna put some dark and some white on them to make them, give them more of that 3D kind of effect. So you can already see, you see how the wax is starting to shine here? Do you look at this one? You don't see any reflection, but this one's giving us a reflection. So coolest thing about again about the diy wax in about half hour i'm going to be ready to buff this because it's already going to be dry and i'm going to get the coolest shine like i love that part you just you all of a sudden it's like oh you can see your reflection it's so so pretty so let's hit that i'm gonna highlight those a little bit Get that on there. We're just gonna add a little bit 
here and there. And that's gonna be good. So again, section done. So it's time to move over there. Are you guys good? You want me to stay or do you want to go? It's been 20 minutes, so you gotta, gotta tell me, tell me. The top is gonna be all clear, so I'm not gonna show you that. It's not gonna be too uh, tricky. Let's see if I can make the camera straight so you guys aren't crooked. You're here till the end. Okay, you're awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Annette. I'll keep going. Okay. So let's put it there. We do have some sun hitting that leg over there so that you don't be able to see that very well. But I'm going to scoot to the other side of the camera. And no, I haven't showered or taken, <laughs> changed my clothes. <laughs> I put a new shirt on. That's it. I uh, wanted to get this other video done too. I made a video on it. It'll probably go up, I don't know, tonight or tomorrow. Once I finally get it done, I get kind of impatient to get them up. Cause you work so hard on them, but it feels like, you know. Um, but hopefully you guys will watch that one. And I did tell a story in it. So I know there's gonna be some people who are gonna give me grief about that. Um, but it seems to be enough people that like them that, you know, I'm trying to get thick skin, guys, I'm trying, but. All right. And I'm gonna open the door again, maybe. I don't know why I do this to myself over and over again. You'd think I'd learn. Let's get up here. And there we go again. Shut her in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just move on a little bit this way. in here okay so do down here all right guys so let's get back into our black and again Let's go there, that feels a little heavy. I'll wipe it back off. There we go, just a nice glow will be good. And up in there. sniffles, I tell you. It's had a little cold and it just will not stop. Nose running, a little cough, and they sound like a, an old sailor. Oh, because I cuss like a sailor. <laughs> okay, a little bit of white. Again, let's go ahead and just lighten this up here in the middle a bit. So that way I can make both sides look totally different and have to go back and do it again. Just like I seem to like to do sometimes. I'll wipe that back. So if you kind of take the time to get your towel and make it flat, not have any creases, then it's gonna work better for you. So that's a nice thing to take the time to do. there. Just get some down that middle. I feel like that needs it there. And there. 
All right. Ta-da, moving on. We'll do these three here, and then we'll call it good. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you coming and watching and hanging out with me. My gosh, I just remembered it's my brother's, my brother-in-law's birthday and I still haven't texted him today. Now remind me to do that when we get off, okay? Just kidding. I'm so bad. From one minute to the next. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys out so again, I can get the edges. Oh, these ones are harder, huh? You know what, I'll fight with those when we're not on here. And I'll get them out. Because no, I didn't put the nails in there like I was supposed to. All right. Let's do a little bit of shading. So wax is kind of cool too. You can almost use it to like fix some mistakes that you didn't see until the end. Sometimes I'll have a spot where I didn't quite get the paint in that crevice or something to that effect. And um, you can really use your waxes to um, camouflage that. So that's another fun thing. And of course, you know, you can take this clear wax and you can mix it with any color paint you want and have that color of wax. So you can make some greens or reds or yellows or anything your heart desires. Which is always fun to do also. Wipe that back. So remember we still have our white sitting on there just solid because we haven't wiped it back yet. And that's good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can't even see me. How did that happen? Oh, look, it just turns by itself. Well, that was fun. I am sorry about that last part. I had no idea. And that is it. So I'm gonna wait about a half hour. I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna buff it. And this is actually probably already ready, but I'm gonna add more black to that one because I put brown on it. So <laughs> I'm not gonna buff that now. You guys are awesome and I will see you soon. Bye.